Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain. So I know that I said I was going to do a video, the collab thing, but he never got in contact with me, and I need to do some more Risk of Rain. I'm not going to do, like, oh, a whole long time with no Risk of Rain. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop into another session, and then uh, whenever we record together, I will go ahead and just, after the current session is over, I'll just go ahead and start uploading that. So uh, let's go ahead and hop right back into our little uh, all-character adventure. So at this point, I'm pretty much past playing characters that I don't really like, and the only last two characters are characters that I actually do like. So, we're just going to play as Akri today, arguably one of the most OP characters in the entire game, and you know what, because I like him, I'm going to go ahead and play on medium mode instead of easy mode, because I'm actually not that bad with this character. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you why Akri is considered one of the most OP classes in the game. So, this character does not proc, definitely not a proccing character. But what makes this character so good is uh, just its moves, just its uh, acid and poison and stuff like that. So it has this thing where it shoots acid and it does damage over time. An acid spray attack that stuns and then this trail of acid you can run and put on the ground and it hurts all the enemies standing on it. So definitely, uh, it's a nice strong set of movesets and you know, people just consider Acrid uh, just a really OP class. And I also have like this kind of scratch and uh, slash attack that's really close range so uh actually can really get cheap with it by just you know keeping his distance and just you know running around spreading that acid uh, it, it took me a cool minute to lock, unlock this character if you didn't see uh, uh previous episodes of this series uh it took me a cool minute i don't believe it's over here it's probably like on the complete opposite side isn't it yep oh wow well, i'm gonna be wasting a lot of time in this stage <laughs> I hate this big stage, just like, oh my god, it's so big, I don't know where the hell the teleporter is at, and sometimes it's up here, but then sometimes it's down there, and it's just like, wow, alright. So, I'm using a different mic since the last recording of the screen, so if you can, if you can hear my, uh, my, my controller, I apologize. Yeah, I'm just going to try to go ahead and play some Risk of Rain for you guys, because A, I like playing the game, and B, uh, definitely the series is not over. I know a cool minute people thought, like, oh, the series is never going to come back, it's over. Like, no, 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 I like this game. I like the game way too much to it, for it to just end. Alright, snake guys, I don't mind that item. Also, I also run faster on my own acid, so why people get, while the enemies get hurt, I run faster on it. Uh, of course, I want that jar of souls, and that's a given. I love jar of souls. There it is, the teleporter. I mean, only two minutes to find it, it's not too terrible. Alright, and who are we going against? Colossus, alright. Well, that's a pretty. That should be a pretty easy fight. Just quickly run past you, put down the acid, and, and jump around and slash in the air, because that's what this character does. This kind of just jump around and slash in the air. go ahead and hit you and I think they all have like infected names so I think one of my name moves, name moves is like you know pandemic epidemic infection so clearly like the disease character but definitely a good character it's so fast and I think the only problem is, is the procking if, if you get proc items they don't proc very well because this character uh, doesn't really cause procking and because of the, the spike, which means it allows us to run faster and lower health, I can get my acid trail down way farther than I would usually be able to do if I wasn't having that, uh, that, uh, artifact on. Yeah, like I said, I need a couple more enemies. I, never, I don't think I've ever got the achievement to kill all the enemies on screen by the time, time the time runs out. I don't think I'm going to do it now. Nope. Nope. Five enemies. That was close, though. I don't know. Or they're not all down here? It doesn't look like it. It might be somewhere else. Or the last one. Okay, well, i got to go after him, of course. So definitely go ahead and pick this up. Face, I mean, head stompers suck. Our souls is great. Oh, he's up there. I wouldn't have got it anyway, even if I did kill all those enemies. 
He's all chilling up here like, huh? You missed me. I'll, I'll spit some acid at you. Like that jerk. We got some time. Since we got some time, I need to, I got some money to spend. Let's go ahead and get some items from up top. Because there was like a tier 2 chest and stuff like that. I need some good items. Papa needs a new pair of not head stoppers. <laughs> Alright, so as you go to see, Akrid is just a really, really great character. Just really cheap, you know, and when, as I argue, the reason why people think he's the best character in the game is because he's just cheap, you know, it's just like, oh, hop around, spread some acid, run around in circles, timekeeper sucks. That's okay, I can, um, it's better than the other one. Um, yeah, I'll take the, take the sticky bombs, I don't mind the sticky bombs. They're not too terrible. Uh, go ahead and open this. Sure. Legion Seed. Uh, I believe that's a proc item, so. Not too great on this character. I'll play this. Wow, the old Whopper. Alright. And now I got uh, some really good items. That was that was a really, really lucky uh, a little uh, gambler right there. Oh, Whopper's a great item. I always get criticals that love strikes. I mean, it's a proc item, so. Only. The only reason why I said Akri's not good is because the only skill that I have that causes proc is my close scratch and hack attack. The other them don't proc, so, you know, all them, you know, bonuses I get from proccing, uh, yeah, this character doesn't get them, so that's what sucks about playing him. So, despite me getting that old whopper, I believe that I only get it, the criticals in the character that the enemies are on low health, so. Play this. Nope. Lots of used items, but I don't want none of them. Alright, so let me go ahead and run, and we should get out of here. We want to the next stage. So I got the old lover combined with the harvester scythe, so this should be OP and strong if it was on any other character. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. Because after it's so powerful, he don't care. And I don't really do use the, the slashes, just it's only that. You know, jumping around and using hacking and slashes, like, I need a jetpack. Like, once I get a jetpack, I'll just be gone. Like, so gone. So yeah, it took me forever to unlock this character, just because to unlock this character you have to go to a particular stage and then fight the mini boss. And uh, for some odd reason, I would just never go to that stage. Like the game would never let me go to that stage and fight that mini boss for like a cool minute. All right, damn crab, it's great. That's our large area. Like, can I get the small stages, please? Uh, let's go ahead and start searching around for the teleporter. Oh, just gonna have to go ahead and jump around and slash you up. There we go. Alright, so it's not the stage where that falls down. <sighs> but eventually, all of a sudden, I finally went to the stage, and then there was the Acrid boss, and I was just so happy. It's like, finally, Acrid! Because all you have to do is just beat him once. Beat him once, and you'll lock him, you know? You would think, you'd, you'd probably, you'd think he'd be one of the easier characters, but I didn't lock him for a cool minute. I was unlocking the you know, harder characters before Acrid. It was ridiculous. I was like, please, just let me go to that stage and fight Akrid. But the game's like, nope, you don't fight Akrid. No, 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 you don't need Akrid. You don't, you don't, you don't need to fight Akrid. I would love to get that drone up there. Akrid likes drones. Cause I'm, 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 this character is kind of like a little pussy, so, you know, running away is my game. No! How about, no. picking up that money. I want to get that drone right now. So I'm willing to wait for a little while. I've got time. And then just kind of hop out of the way while you try to hit me. I'm just going to jump up in the air and slash you. I need a jetpack. If I can get a jetpack, I'd be so safe. Stun you. Oh, this isn't going to work. He clearly has like the poison around him. Um, lay that down. That's right, do I have enough money yet? I should have enough money after killing these enemies, right? Yep, yep, yes I do. So let me go ahead. Oh, my container. This is drone. Missile drone. Really good. Let me increase my DPS with Acrid. It's not really necessary though, because Acrid does have pretty good DPS. 
he's no slow sniper. But hey, I mean, I saw that. At least I run the, won the run with sniper, amazingly. I can't guarantee that I'm gonna win the run with uh, accurate. Oh, I don't, think, I don't have the right character. Let's do this. The one stage I actually, it's actually here the uh, the artifact, but I don't got, I don't got the way to get it. <coughs> and sometimes, you know what? It might be better just to take some damage on the chin. I need some healing. Besides Leech and Seed, I don't really have any healing. It might be better to take some damage on the chin just so I can go ahead and run faster. The faster I run, the quicker I can, you know, get around the stage. So. So. It's not too terrible to take some damage to the chin. Let's go ahead and kill these guys real quick. There we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep taking some a little bit of fall damage. Just to keep me running fast. And we need to still find the teleporter. There it is. Magworm. Alright, Hacker can handle that. Hacker can handle that real well. I don't care about the Magworm. I shouldn't care about the Magworm anyway, unless the Magworm decides to just completely fuck me up. I shouldn't care. It should be a pretty decent boss fight. You know. Magmorm is the hardest boss you could possibly face on the first stage. I believe Acrid, his uh, his jump attack hits multiple areas, so. Go ahead and run across the screen, lay down this. Lay it down. Go ahead and go infected, spit some acid in the face. Yeah, so he wouldn't. I was supposed to do that collab video. He never contacted me. It was like it was like one Sunday I was ready, but then he was busy. Then the other Sunday I was busy, but he was ready. And then this Sunday he just never contacted me at all. I was sitting there waiting. I was like, I was like, I even you know made my schedule open so we could go ahead and record, and he was, he never got on. So that kind of sucks. So I really wanted to do the collab video for you. I even made a, a separate thumbnail for Riskerain and everything to have him join. Cause I mean he's a smaller channel than mine. But he definitely wanted to go ahead and join me, uh, and you know, we'll do collab together, but you know, he never uh, contacted me. I'm taking a lot of damage. I think this shit is going on, lots of enemies are dying, because there's so many enemies, but I'm sitting here trying to kill this damn magma worm. There we go, wow, and Ceremonial Dagger, wow. OP items for the win. Nope. No, I don't got time, I don't got time. Well, I do. So they should go and fuck up some other enemies. I really need to go around, I got a whole bunch of money. Be great if I could go. Wow, can I really not jump up there? Wow, like that's really gay. I could spit that to the wall. So there we go. Like wow, it's so gay. Like I can't, can't even get over there. Oh, killed the enemy. All right. So. You know I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. I need some items. I'm only on medium mode. I'm about to go to hard mode, but I need some items. Some healing. I don't have any healing. That's, that's what I'm missing right now. Another drone. Hell yeah. Half my money, but I don't care. More missile drones means higher DPS. I'm not gonna play that right now. You know what? Screw it. Nope, don't need my move. Remember where I are. Nope, not playing it again. One critical is enough for me. I'm happy with that. Secret. Nope, that isn't the secret. I'm like, oh, is this a secret right here? Like, no, it's not the secret. Clearly, it's not the secret. Uh, I believe that's just a health shrine. There's no way out of here. Play that, no. Great, Moto 2. Alright. That didn't work. 
great. I'm back at full health. I mean, I'm running slower than I was running before. Ah, uh, that sucks ass. Jump off! Oh, I took that fall damage. Oh, it hurt so much. No, no, I have to run faster. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't take fall damage there. Damn it! <laughs> trying to take some fall damage so I can run around quicker. Yeah, I want that tier two chest. I'll love you forever if you give me a jetpack. A retro jetpack. That would be nice. That would be super nice. Rusted jetpack, give it. Oh, okay. I have a mitosis, so I can't reduce the cooldown to my use item. That's fine. It's a tier three. And I was thinking, I was thinking in the back of my head, I'm like, why should give me a tier three when I really want it? Like a good tier two. Like tier threes are strong, but you can't just live off this game on tier threes. Like you need the nice healing and comforting of a heal of a tier one. And you just can't run around and have a whole bunch of tier threes and expect to win. And I'm right now I got some tier threes, which is nice and all, but I need some tier need some healing. Definitely need some healing. Oh, there's something up here. Some healing. Some healing. Give me that. Okay, about anything else can be the healing too. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave now. I wasted enough time here. All right, so that was part one of Akron. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. See you next episode.